Okay, so you missed the previous seven hours of the Madagascar journals. No problem. I can summarize everything you need to know in about two minutes. First, Matt broke up with his human girlfriend Amy. And then he's like, oh, my neck has grown too fat. I need to go to Africa. I'm not kidding. That's why he went. He's like, if my neck is getting fat, just imagine what's happening to my brain. Well, I can tell you, speaking as a 3.5 GHz 6 core Mac Pro, there's absolutely no correlation between neck fat and brain function. But as I say, I'm just summarizing. So he goes to Africa, and he's kind of intimidated at first because he's seen too many Leonardo DiCaprio movies, but he doesn't actually get machine gunned or fall into a web of intrigue, and in fact, he finds that everyone is quite nice. DiCaprio keeps showing up in the series by the way, Matt is sort of obsessed with him, I think he's meant to represent American misrepresentations of the world or something, and you know who also shows up a lot is Phil Collins, and God knows what he's meant to represent, anyhow. Matt has a number of misadventures, something about a pair of jeans and stopping a zebu from being sodomized and he eats a goat liver and some of the episodes are mildly amusing, not as amusing as he thinks they are, but more than most African documentaries I'll give him that. And he gets funny emails from his cousin and there's a lot of footage of him in various bathrooms for some reason, I think he thinks it's cultural anthropology or something, but, on the internet, we have another name for it. Anyhow. He gets to Madagascar eventually and by this point we've seen about 6 hours of scenes of everything going really badly because he didn't bother to learn the language other than English because he's an American, until finally he meets a British school teacher and is very excited because he can finally talk about pointless minutia with someone again, and I'm like, if you want to talk English so badly, why didn't you go to England and make the English journals, but anyhow, she leaves and he's alone again in Madagascar and that's basically the first 7 hours, there. I saved you 6 hours and 58 minutes out of your life. If you want me to save you another hour, I'll tell you what happens in the last episode. I haven't seen it yet, but I can extrapolate from the previous 7 hours that he will wring his hands and say oh, I am not a good traveler. Oh, oh, what are the negative consequences of American foreign policy? Oh, I need to do a doodle, and write a song on my ukulele. In fact there must be wall to wall ukulele music. There, done. Episode 8, I saved you another hour. You're welcome.